Ever tried to move a picture in Microsoft Word, but it just won't budge? Perhaps you want it centred. You try to click and drag it into the middle of the document, but it just won't move. Or you're trying to position a picture in the middle of some text, but the text keeps doing very strange things around the picture, and you just can't get it to look the way you want it. Today I'll show you how to fix both these problems. If you find this video useful, please hit the subscribe button below and let me know in the comments what other topics you would like me to cover. My name is Aidy Blackman. Join me after the intro as I'll walk you through moving images in a Word document. We'll start with a blank document. I'll select the Insert ribbon and then click on Picture. I'll use a stock picture, but this will work with any type of picture or image. Let's select this cat. That would be a nice one to play around with. Once selected, click Insert. Now this image is a little large to demonstrate what I want to show you, so let me just click and drag in on one of the corners to shrink it down a little. That's better. Now, as we already know, no matter how much I try, I just can't move this picture. With the picture selected, that's with the little white circles or placeholders around the image. If you haven't got these around the image, just click on it once. Now, with the placeholders visible, you should have a picture format option at the top. Click this to open the picture format ribbon. The exact layout of the icons here may be slightly different for you, as Word adjusts the visible buttons depending on how big your screen is. You're looking for the position button in the arrange section. Click this. You need to select one of the options in the with text wrapping section. Anyone will do. You'll notice that there's a few alignment options. Don't worry if the exact layout that you are after isn't here. Just select any of them. You can adjust the picture to the desired location once you select one of them. I'll just select the first one. Now that I have done that, you'll find that you can click and drag the picture to anywhere on the page. As you move the picture around, you'll see green lines appear. This is just to help you align the picture if you need them. So with a little patience, I can find the centre across the page and then the middle of the page once I have two green lines. There, the image is now centred. Let's take a look at what happens when we insert an image into a paragraph of text. I've set out a page with some text on it. I'll click somewhere in the document, so the cursor is in the middle somewhere. That's the point that the image will be inserted. Now I'll go to the Insert ribbon again. Select Picture and again use a stock image. But you could use any sort of image or picture for this. We had a cat last time. Let's use this eagle this time. Click it once to select and then click Insert. There we go. It's a bit big again. Let me just resize it down as it makes for a better demonstration. By the way, if you want to resize an image, click and drag one of the little circles around the edge. That's better. Now you can see that the image has been inserted just as though it was a character or word in the middle of a sentence. This might be okay if we were inserting a little icon or something, but doesn't really look very good with an image like this. I can at least move the image around the page, but it just cuts into the line of text that I move it to. With the image selected, you can tell it's selected from the little white circles around the edge of the image. If you don't see these, just click the image once. Now click Picture Format at the top to display the Picture Format ribbon again. The first option I have is Back into the Position option in the Image section. I can select any of the options in the with text wrapping and as I hover the mouse over any of the options you can see that it's going to wrap the text around the picture and align the image in the document for me. I'll just pick the centered one. Now that I have one of these selected I can drag the image to the exact position that I want and you should see that the text adjusts around the image as I drag it. The other option we have is to specify the text wrapping option. Back in the picture format ribbon, the button next to the position is wrap text. Click this and we see a few options. 
Let me run through what you can do. In line with text, that's the default and makes it tricky to position the text. Square is the one that we have now. It squares off the text around the image and gives a bit of a border between the image and the text. Tight is similar to square, but reduces the border between the image and text. Through won't make much difference on our square image, but if you had an odd shape image, it would fill in more of the gaps around the image. Top and bottom, at first glance, can look the same as in line with text, but it's actually place the image on a line of its own, not in the middle of a sentence. Behind and in front are my favourite ones. They will either let the text continue behind the image or allow it to run over the top of it. The edit wrap points can be used when you have an odd shape image and you want to adjust at what point the text wraps around the picture. Then we have a couple more advanced options. Move with text will allow the picture to move as you add or amend text on the page. And fix position on page is basically the opposite and won't move the picture when text is changed on the page. More layout options opens a dialog box so you can select precise values if you want. And set as default should mean that when you insert another image, it will insert with the selected text wrapping options already set. If you found this video useful, hit the subscribe button. I'm planning on a series of these. If there are topics or questions you would like me to cover, let me know in the comments below. Many thanks for watching. See you in the next video.